So everybody, let's start. We were here. Um, okay. So uh, when we talk about the drugs, okay, we we have discussed epinephrine, norepinephrine, and now we are going to discuss dopamine. Okay. Now dopamine activates peripheral beta one adrenal receptors to increase heart rate and contractility, and activates pre-junctional and post-junction dopamine 1 receptors in the renal, coronary, and splenic vessels to reduce arterial resistance and increase blood flow. Pre-junctionally, dopamine inhibits norepinephrine release. At low dose, dopamine has a positive inotropic effect and increased systolic pressure with little effect on diastolic pressure or mean blood pressure. At higher doses, dopamine activates alpha receptors and cause vasoconstriction with a reflex decrease in the heart rate. Now, coming up to dobutamine. Dobutamine is a synthetic catecholamine that is related to dopamine but whose activities are related to actions at alpha receptors and beta receptors with no effect on dopamine receptors. This drug increases cardiac output with limited vasodilating activity and reflex tachycardia. And dopabutamine is administered by IV infusion because of the short half-life, which is just two minutes. Okay. So then we have these drugs, terbutalin, albutalin, Metaproterinol, -proterin perbutanerol, salmeterol, and formoterol are examples of drugs with more selective beta 2 receptor agonists and relaxed bronchial smooth muscles with fewer cardiac effects. Even if you uh, like observe the people who are taking the uh, inhalation, uh, you know, aids, you would see these names on the on their um, you know uh, inhalation boards. What do you call it? Anyways, so isoproterinol activates beta receptors with little effect on um, alpha receptors. It dilates bronchial smooth muscles. It is infrequent, infrequently used because of the availability of selective beta 2 adrenal receptor agonists. Now, phenylephrine, methoxamine, and Meta uh, raminol, these drugs produce effects primarily by direct alpha 1 receptor stimulation that result in vasoconstriction, increased total peripheral resistance, and increased systolic and diastolic pressure. Meta raminol also has indirect activity. It is taken up and released at sympathetic nervous nerve endings, where it acts as false neurotransmitter. It also releases epinephrine. These drugs are less potent, but because they're not metabolized by COMT, they have longer duration of actions than catecholamine. Okay, so we were talking about phenylephrine, methoxamine, and metaraminol. Okay. And then we, I think we talked about it. Okay. Then it's xylometazoline and uh, oxymetazoline. These drugs have selective action at alpha receptors at high doses. These drugs may cause clonidine like effects because of their action in PNS. Please go back to my uh, two days back lecture, two, two, two lectures back, and then you would find the entire you know, slide on it. Mm, wait, I have a message from you guys. Okay, I, it's a long. Beta, um, I just received a message in the comments, okay? Uh, after this class, I will respond to your theory, okay? All right. Don't worry about the quiz, all right? Let's focus on the this lecture right now, and then I would respond to you about your quiz thing. Okay. Uh, then is uh, clonidine, methyl, dopa, 
Gobens and uh, Gofacin. Now, these are antihypertensive agents, directly or indirectly activate pre junctional and possibly post junctional alpha 2 receptors in the vasomotor center of the uh, medulla to reduce sympathetic tone. Okay. Post junctional, pre junctional, what is that? Previously, we have talked about presynaptic neuron, postsynaptic neuron. Here we are talking about pre-junctional, post-junctional. Pre-junctional means we talked about neuromuscular junction. So here we are talking about pre-junctional and post-junctional. Okay. All right. So you see, uh, then they are saying these drugs reduce blood pressure with a decrease in total peripheral resistance and minimal uh, long-term effects on cardiac output and heart rate. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. So you see, when resistance is being decreased, when vessel dilation is there, then definitely blood pressure would produce, right? Methyl dopa is a pro drug that is metabolized to active agent um, alpha methyl norepinephrine in nerve ending. It lowers blood pressure by reducing peripheral vascular resistance. At higher non therapeutic dose, it activates. Peripheral alpha receptors to cause vasoconstriction. Now, then is um, ephedrine. It acts indirectly to release norepinephrine from nor uh, nerve terminals and has some direct actions on the adrenal receptor. Ephedrine has effects similar to those of epinephrine but is less potent. It has a longer duration of action. Because it is resistant to metabolism by COMT and monomine oxidase. If you see, if you go back to the slide, you would see why, right? It's chemical composition. This drug is effective orally and unlike catecholamines, penetrates the brain and can produce stimulation. You see, if you remember one thing about its chemical makeup, so you can easily tell about these uh, properties, okay? Then its ephedrine is found in the herbal medication Mohang. Um, pseudo ephedrine is an isomer of ephedrine. After continued use, tachyphylaxis may develop due to ephed um, ephedrine's peripheral effects. Then is um, amphetamine, dextrotyramine. Uh, uh, wait. Dextroamphetamine with amphetamine, modafinil, uh, methyl penidate, and hydroxyamphetamine. Okay, so these drugs produce effects similar to those of ephedrine with direct and some indirect activity. Right. Doxy, uh, dextro with uh, dextroamphetamine has more CNS stimulatory effect than the levoisomer, which is more cardiovascular activity. These drugs are well absorbed and except for hydroxymethamphetamine enter the CNS readily and have marked stimulant activity. I hope you all remember, by the way, what is tachyphylaxis. Remember, we talked about it. Then is, uh, okay, after the, uh, do put it in the chat box, okay, what do, what do you mean by tachyphylaxis? Because I explained in the first few classes, and I want to see if you guys even remember or not, I just used this term over here, that after continuous use, tachyphylaxis may develop, okay? So do uh, define it, after I stop the video sharing, then I would see your answers. Now, uh, looking at the therapeutic uses, okay. Hypotensive emergency in this, we use phenylephrine, methoxamine, norepinephrine, and they act by alpha-1 receptor. Chronic orthostatic hypotension. What is chronic hypostatic uh, uh, hypotension? You stand up, and as soon as you stand up, your blood pressure falls down. So this is orthostatic hypertension, okay? And this is controlled by ephedrine, vedodrine, 
phenylephrine and this is done by alpha 1 receptor anaphylactic shock and this is again by ep uh, epinephrine and this is by alpha and beta receptor and if somebody has heart block or cardiac arrest so you give iso um, isoproterenol or epinephrine remember i told you that it's an interesting okay um okay what is cardiac arrest cardiac arrest is this that the you do la lack of blood flow okay heart stops this is cardiac arrest congestive heart failure in that we give dobutamine what is congestive heart failure you see the ventricle wall it thickens up when it thickens up the heart cannot contract um it cannot do the systole effectively okay and that's why there's a heart failure so in that we give dobutamine infiltration nerve block in that we give epinephrine what is infiltration nerve block you remember when you go to dentist they give you some anesthetic okay so that is infiltration that is a nerve block you stop sensing everything right so in that we give epinephrine to unblock it okay um okay all right then is hay fever rhinitis this is very common i think we all have this medicine in our home that is phenyl ephrine if you uh, even i remember in my last lecture i asked you all to see if you have any adrenergic uh, drug at your home i don't know if you have actually searched your drug box or not but you should do that in asthma i just told you that inhales inhalation pump okay you would find the name of these drugs metoprotrenol terbutaline or albuterol i i'm viewing so many comments here okay so these are all you see the medicines which are given in order to treat these clin clinical conditions or uh, in this particular case we give it okay guys last slide last slide sorry um adverse effects and toxicity the adverse effect of sympathetic mimetic drugs are generally extension of your pharmacological activity overdose with epinephrine or any other pressor agent may result in severe hypertension with possible cere uh, cerebral hemorrhage pulmonary edema and cardiac arrhythmia milder effects include headache dizziness and tremor increased cardiac workload may result in angina or myocardial infarction in patients with coronary insufficiency phenylephrine should not be used to treat closed angle glaucoma before erect um, erect uh, iridic um iridectomy what is that this is this that you see this iris okay you remove it okay so that is this procedure iridectomy okay okay as it may increase intraocular pressure okay and you see if the intraocular pressure increase so we have already discussed the side effects of it sudden dis discontinuation of alpha 2 re adrenal receptor agonist may cause withdrawal symptoms that include headache tachycardia and a rebound rise in blood pressure drug abuse may occur with amphetamine and amphetamine like drug you see when you take amphetamine so obviously a reuptake is blocked and then the concentration is enhanced and then the body gets used to it okay ha huh. then is drug interaction with tricyclic antidepressant block Uh, uh they block um, catecholamine reuptake and may potentiate the effects of norepinephrine and epinephrine like i've just told you some halogenated anesthetic drugs and digitalis may sensitize the heart to beta receptor stimulants resulting in ventricular arrhythmias okay everybody thank you so much no wait let me stop the video sharing